Hi everyone, hope everyone is doing fine today. So today I have also another uh, uh, watch review. Um, usually I only review the watches that I have. So that's why I am reviewing the Certina. So if you want uh, any kind of, if you have any kind of uh, recommendations or questions about vintage watches, or you want to review some of the watches that you have or something like that, please leave a comment in the comment section. So this Certina I bought several months ago and uh, I bought it because I really like the helmet shape of the watch. Uh, the helmet shape of the watch is one of the the main reasons I bought it, but the other reason is I didn't have something for from Certina, the, the company, so I didn't know anything about them. So just a quick info about Certina. Certina was uh, established in 1888 in Grenchen by the brothers Kurt, Adolf and Alfred and then uh, they changed the name to Grana and after that they changed it to Certina in 1939 and in 1983 the Swatch group uh, bought them and they or ever since in within the the mid range let's say or the low luxury range for for the swatch group uh, i think it's maybe in the same category as this so uh, a bit bit under longy uh, so this watch is 36 millimeter in diameter 38 lug to lug so pretty compact 10 millimeter thickness and 18 meter 18 millimeters lug width so as you can see it has pencil hands and uh, uh, let's say stick indices no uh, kind of nothing no kind of loom available on the dial and the second hand is in gold and so as is the dial color so it does blend in it does feel like you are wearing a two-hand watch but at the same time you have a third hand which is the second hand. that's why i really like this watch and it's one of the watches i'm not selling because the um, intelligent use of the gold color is perfectly matches the dial on the seconds i didn't see that in in, in any other watch and also the helmet style is is pretty cool and i don't have any helmet watches so I usually wear this watch on, on this vintage 70s strap, it goes really well with it and I bought even this strap to go with it as well and even sometimes I wear it on this NATO, which makes it look really cool. But lately I just got this handmade strap, uh, thanks Horst if you're watching, and um, I think it it does give the watch a, a, a much elegant look and I even will show you I'm, I'm wearing my Tudor by the way been uh, loving it lately again uh, not that I didn't love it before but uh, I mean on the bracelet uh, let me wear this so I have a 16.7 centimeter wrist just for reference and as you can see, it looks quite well on my wrist. It doesn't look small, it doesn't look underpowering or something like that. But let me get the Bergeon tool and be right back. So as you can see, I changed it now to a bit of a casual watch instead of a dress watch with that... Uh, 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 lizard lizard leather so as you can see it does look quite quite nice so the watch is, is, is pretty cool to be honest I don't have any kind of uh, yeah it's 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 uh, it's a Certina, so it's a good watch, it's a well-built watch and uh, I don't think I would be selling it anytime soon 
except until if I find myself uh, getting a new helmet watch, then that looks better than this one, which I doubt there is something that will uh, engage my feeling like uh, like this one did. So let me put it on the time grapher. Like I said, I always use the time grapher in different positions to check uh, the accuracy of the watch. But I'm just putting it on, on one position just to see... Let me mute the speaker. Just to see the average and how it will look like. So just to get a, a handle. And as you can see, the beat error is excellent. Amplitude, high amplitude. The rate is plus 17, plus 5, plus 30. So it's under 30 seconds until now, which is great. Plus 26. So that means the watch is working pretty, pretty efficiently. Plus 33. So like I said, this means that the watch is working pretty well. So what would be my last words against uh, 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 to finish the video is to tell you if you want to buy a vintage watch uh, uh, do your uh, research look if uh, because a lot of Franken watches are in the market and uh, look at uh, eBay is a great way to find vintage watches uh, as well as Katawiki is also a good way but I think uh, you would find more uh, uh, watches on eBay some of a lot of the watches that I buy on eBay, they need uh, intervention from a watchmaker. I do have a bit of uh, watchmaking knowledge, not a lot, but uh, just just enough to get me by sometimes. But I do have here a watchmaker that I bring my watches to when I need to. But other than that, be be sure that the watch description mentions that the watch is running. The watch is 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 at least in good condition so hope i helped you with or at least entertain you with something new today so if i did please do leave the like and uh, if you have any question any comments please leave them down below and of course invitation to subscribe as always have a great one and hopefully see you in the next one bye